we're not investing enough in transportation at all. And I've been saying that since the day I was elected six years ago. The last completed VTRAN study, which is the 20 year to 25 year projection for VDOT said we were $120 billion behind in terms of what our needs were versus how much money we had. The bill that was passed about two years ago only funded about $20 billion of that over the next 20 years. That leaves about $100 billion of unfunded transportation needs in Virginia. It's basically the mega projects, the really big projects. We don't have a way to fund that right now in Virginia's system at all. And um, I think it's important for people to know that because there have been people saying that our transportation funding problem was solved two years ago. It wasn't. It was, we took a step forward, but we got about five steps, 10 steps left to go. So um, funding it is going to be a, continue to be a real challenge if we continue to try and do things the same way. Gas taxes are declining. I drive a hybrid car that gets 50 miles to the gallon, so I pay about one-fifth of the taxes is somebody who drives a car that gets 15 miles to the gallon. And I think as gas prices continue to rise, as they're likely to do over the next 10 to 20 years, gas taxes will be a declining source of revenue because people will buy more efficient cars and they'll be paying less into the system. That's why last year I put in a piece of legislation asking Virginia to go out and study different funding models to see if there's not a better way we can fund our road system. Oregon's already doing this, other states are doing it, whether that's checking your mileage when you do your vehicle registration and maybe paying based on how many miles you've driven or basing it more on weight because it's been shown that heavier cars or tractor trailers do a lot more damage to our roads than other cars do. Uh, but, uh, or maybe perhaps increased tolling. If every car, everybody had, had, had a smart chip in their car and they could be measured where they are, where they're going, what they're doing, um, it'd be easier to pay. But there's a couple other things that are very important. Number one, it's very important that people outside this state continue to pay for our roads. 30% of our gas taxes are paid by people that are not from Virginia. And we need to continue to get as much money as we can out of those people as possible. We have to have a system that does that. Um, in addition to that, um, we have to account for renewable energy and what's going to happen going forward, whether it's hybrid cars or electric cars. Uh, and we have to figure out a way to fund transit and fund transit fairly. Right now in Prince William County, for example, they're talking about cutting bus service by 30% because we did not put a floor in, in the revenue for transit like we did for the revenue for roads so that when gas taxes go down under a certain level, the revenue stays the same on roads, but on transit, it's cratered. And so in Prince William County, they're talking about cutting bus service by 30%. And that is completely unacceptable. We have to put that floor in for transit so that all of our transit systems uh, uh, can actually continue to have the revenues they need in order to operate. So um, I think we need to look at this comprehensively going forward. We can't continue to do things the way we've been doing it. And I think um, the other thing, by the way, is there's also a role for public-private partnerships. That was the other point I was going to make. Uh, you know, I, I was originally a little leery about public-private partnerships, but the, uh, the I-95, I-495 express lanes were done on time, um, actually ahead of time. Um, the I-95 express lanes were done on time, quickly, efficiently. I've got some complaints from people that are unhappy about what they're paying. And for example, one of the things I think we could look at is maybe allowing Virginians to pay a little less and people from out of state to pay a little more on those things. I, I don't think, given that Virginians subsidize the construction of them, help pay the cost, I think that's something we should look at. But uh, going forward, I think we need to completely rewrite the rules on how we do this because we're going to have, in 20 years from now, we're going to have a completely different looking transportation system with the densities and the transit and, 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 and what's coming for Virginia.